Hey guys, so um, I know I've done a video on the um, Zoya Pixie Dust colors, but at the time I had only um, received two of the colors, so I finally got the entire collection, so I wanted to um, swatch all of them in one video, um, just so if anybody is interested in specifically um, the Pixie Dust collection, they can just um, watch this video instead of the other one. So this one, um, I've already shown you this color. Oh, let's first let's go over the bottle. So it's just... Um, like a regular Zoya bottle. And then the um, lid here is like a frosted um, matte lid. So that's pretty cool that they did it like that. Um, so yeah, this color I've already shown you guys, so I'll just go through it really quickly. Um, let's flip it around. So this color is called NYX. And NYX is a light um, periwinkle blue color with um, silver shimmer in it. You can see the shimmer. And here it is swatched. That's two coats. You can see a little bit of my nail line still, um, so you might want a third coat, but this one is at least a two coater. So that one is NYX. Um, this next one, let's see. This next one is called London, and if you watch my other video, you guys know why I got this one. Um, that's actually my daughter's name, so I thought it'd be really cute to get um, a polish named after her, and she really likes it, um, even though she wishes it was pink. Um, but we spell it a little bit differently. We spell it with a Y, but I still thought it was cute. So anyways, um, this is London, and London is a gray um, polish, and it has silver shimmer in it. And that's London swatched, and that's two coats. And this one probably could have done just with one coat, um, but I always like to do two coats just to kind of even everything out. So this is two. And you can see um, with the Pixie Dust colors, they are um, almost like a matte, but since there's that glitter shimmer in it, it still sparkles even though it's like a matte texture. And it's rough but it's not like super gritty to where um it's gonna snag on things um like some glitters will do so that's what's cool about these ones um I really like them and then you can always use a top coat on it to kind of smooth it out so that's kind of neat too uh, this next color is called Vespa and Vespa is a light green like a sage green color and this also has silver shimmer in it And that is Vespa swatched. This is another one of those that's pretty light and you can see a little bit of my nail line. So um, this could use a third coat if you got, if that kind of bothers you guys. So Okay, so that is Vespa. Um, the next one is called China. And China is a bright red with red glitter. When I first saw, like, I'm not a huge fan of red um, polishes. So when I saw this, I was just kind of like, meh, you know, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But I am so glad I got it. It is gorgeous. There it is swatched. Um, this, it's really pretty, you know, as the pixie dust. So it's got like that rough edge to it but if you put a top coat on this it sparkles so much like it reminds me a lot of um ruby pumps by china glaze but just with a little bit larger sparkle so i really 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 like this one so that is china um the next one is this one and it's called Dahlia and Dahlia is the black um, color of this collection and it also has silver shimmer in it and this is Vespa swatched or sorry um, Dahlia this is Dahlia swatched and that's two coats with the one coat, it was like a like almost like a dark charcoal gray color. But once you put that second coat on, um, it turned out black. So 
This is a two coater. But I just think it's so neat how the polish is matte, but it still sparkles so much because of the shimmer that's inside. So, and then this polish is very similar to um, the OPI Liquid Sands. And I do have videos on those as well if you guys wanted to look at those. And then the last color in the collection is called Godiva. And Godiva is a beige um, color and it has silver shimmer in it. And this is Godiva swatched. So this is a very light um, muted color. So if you don't want something as crazy as China hair, um, I would go for something like this. So you still have that texture, but it's not like bright and in your face. So this is a good color for that. I've actually seen a couple um, blogs where people do um, nail art and they use this color as like an ocean scene. So this would be like the sand on the tips, which I thought was really cute. So yeah, that is um, all of the, let's show you here. So these are all of the pixie dust colors from Zoya. There's that green one. And there's the other two. And then let me just show you all my nails. So those are all the colors um, from the Pixie Dust collection. I hope this video kind of helps you guys in deciding um, what color you might want from the collection. Um, and then swatches on the nails always helps me. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.